Today, as we think about the passing of Manning Marable, a tower of intellect and activism, one of the leading scholars on African-American history and the legacy of institutional racism and economic injustice, um, we celebrate uh, the publication of his biography of Malcolm X, A Life of Reinvention, is released today. This is a man who not only could speak uh, with amazing insight, but also listened and mentored no end of young people, men and women. We had him on our program many, many times. We're going to share just a clip of his latest appearance in February 2009, commenting on Attorney General Holder's comment about our nation being a nation of cowards on the issue of race and racism. There are two narratives, stories, about American history. One, everybody knows that George Washington never told a lie, that we had honest Abe as president who freed the slaves because he loved them so much. But the reality is, is that there's another story that gets suppressed and it reflects the struggles of blacks and Latinos and women and others who have been marginalized in this society. And for us to have an honest dialogue about the future of race in the country we have to be honest about what we have collectively gone through. If anything, I think Holder points the way toward candor and discussion, but the weakness of what he had to say is that he doesn't talk about institutional mm. or structural racism. Well, we can't have Manning. an honest conversation about the future unless we both all have a foundation of what we have collectively experienced in the past. We're in New York City, and when we go down to Wall Street, one story about this country is that uh, Wall Street is the heart of capitalism. When I go there, I look down at the East River and see a site that had the second largest slave port in North America, where tens of thousands of chained enslaved Africans were brought into this country. Or if I walk down Fifth Avenue and, and people see wonderful buildings, at the corner of 44th and 5th, there was a colored orphanage burned to the ground during the draft riots of 1863 that killed over 400 black children. <laughs> There's a lot of work in being an American, which means that we embrace the incredible diversity and the various narratives that comprise the experience and the heritage of the country as a whole, rather than singling out this socially constructed whiteness history as the history that all of us must conform to. Here in New York State, we passed a couple years ago something called the Amistad Bill, which requires the teaching of and the integration of black history, K through 12, into the mainstream curriculum. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.